The starting point of this study is the observation that there are around 1 billion disabled people in the world. And these people suffer from poorer health, poor education, and lower income levels than non-disabled people. The key question is, how can we help the disabled people to improve their lives? And to answer that question, we need to understand how they think. And we believe that the way they think depends on where they live. Which brings me to the next question. We carried out our study in Uganda and in both an urban and a rural context in Kampala and Tororo because we believe that the culture in these two locations are very different and may affect how disabled people think about themselves. There are 780 secondary school students in our sample, both girls and boys and both disabled and non-disabled students. What is the method? We use priming to identify the impact of the social identity as disabled on the preferences and beliefs and choices of disabled people in our experiment. A prime can be a question like, do you like physical work? What is your favorite sport? Whereas a control group question was, what's your favorite soft drink? What do we find? We find that the disability prime reduces the level of confidence in the rural setting while increasing the level of confidence in the urban setting. We believe this result can be explained by the urban uh, students being more exposed to a yes you can message in their lives compared to the rural students. Why is this study useful? To answer the question that we started out with, namely how can we improve the lives of disabled people? Our research on disabled secondary school students offers the following answers. In the urban context, give them equipment, a screwdriver. They already have the confidence. In the rural context, on the other hand, a more comprehensive approach is needed. First, they need to build confidence, and then we can offer them equipment.